All right, giveaway time, man. For those y'all who've been watching the last few weeks, y'all know that the turbo went out on our uh, 635D, our Tiger Cat over our bogey skitter. This is the impeller shaft that, uh, an impeller that was in the exhaust side of the uh, turbo in that thing. So when we pulled it out, it fell out. And I thought, hey, I do this as a giveaway. I had some people ask about it. And you know, who'd have thought that you know, people be interested in getting parts, but that is a pretty cool uh, souvenir right there to have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this thing away. I'm gonna ship it to whoever, whoever wins it. And all you gotta do to win this thing, the, the giveaway is gonna start when this video publishes, which is Sunday morning. And it's gonna run till, let's see, tomorrow's the 28th. So it'll run from the 28th through June the 3rd, which is next Saturday at midnight. So all you gotta do is comment down below. You can just comment anything you want to comment, and it'll, you'll get you'll be entered into the end of the draw. And I'll use a, a random comment picker next Sunday morning on June the 4th and draw, and then I'll I'll contact. And now be sure if you comment, you know, and that you're paying attention next Sunday morning if you win it make sure you know check your spam box and all that because it i'll comment on your comment is what i'll do and if i don't hear something from you in you know a day or two i'll redo it again but i got some other stuff like this that i'm going to give away i've got the water pump impeller uh that we took off too out of the 748 i'm gonna give away but this will be a really cool conversation piece for uh sit on a desk or uh you know for a paperweight or anything like that i mean this head is it's pretty heavy it probably i'm not sure how much it weighs but it's got some weight to it but that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna give that joker give that joker away somebody will look up and uh and win that thing so that'd be pretty neat since early you can see the sun coming on up over there there's a truck coming in way over there on that road. I'll load him. Ain't nobody else here but me. I've already unloaded quite a few trucks. You can see the 635 sitting over there. You can hear my loader running. And there's uh, Kevin's processor right there. I'm going to uh, close my camera box there. Keeps all my camera gear in it. We'll walk over here and get up in here. Load this, uh, load this other truck. Y'all see my saw bar right here? I put a four inch shorter saw on it. It was sticking on out past out here like that. I put a four inch shorter one in a shorter chain. I like it a lot better like that. Now, if I need to cut up some really big stuff, I can put the, I can put the other one back on there. But let me jump up our sun coming on up. Saturday, running on a Saturday, man. Running on a Saturday. Let's load this dig on truck, man. Like I said a while ago today, Saturday. What happened? We don't work many Saturdays at all, but what happened this week is is uh we got rained out. We'll get that little one out of there, it don't need to be in that pile. We got rained out Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. And if we get rained out multiple days, we have to work. I mean, it's just all it is to it. Now, the bad thing is, is Monday, of course, is Memorial Day. So that puts it even worse. And, you know, nobody likes to work on Saturdays. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And a lot of times, that's the difference between some guys that, you know, that are go-getters that'll get out there and get it. And some people who are not. And when it when it comes down when t when things get tough, you find out who you know who those people are. So we're gonna run. Uh, I've already I started loading this morning at 5:30. First trucks rolled out of here quick. Kevin just pulled up. It's 15 after six now. And so I got another truck just pulled in here. This is Lanny. I'm loading him. And we're gonna roll with it. 
I'm gonna tell y'all what, there's one thing I have noticed about my videos lately, and that's the tractor videos, the John Deere videos, the 5075E. They are huge, mega, mega views, man. Most of them are going over 10,000 views in the first 24 hours. And so I'm gonna keep feeding that fire, you know what I mean? And there's a lot of farmers around here in our area and they're they're very active right now because everybody's planting right now and so what i'm going to start doing yeah, i definitely want mine held make sure you got one of them bell papers with him and that truck is in okay i'm gonna do like i did with mr west last year when i caught him combining uh, peanuts and i rode the tractor with him i'm gonna start just when i catch some of these farmers at the right time i'm just gonna start stopping in and and see if I can farm on uh, uh, video some of their stuff because there's some farmers here that have some old some of the older style John Deere the old school type stuff to really like the 4960s and uh, stuff like that so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna drop in on them and uh, film some of their equipment and a lot a lot of them older tractors still running around here in our area do that but uh, I'll be back Kevin's over there digging the dirt out of the dozer track. So you see the processor here. What I'm finna do now is I'm fixing to get some Instagram pictures and these, I may use these for Instagram and I may use them for, uh, for thumbnails. Look at how vivid the colors are on there. That's with a, there's a, I've got, there's actually a UV filter with a polarizer filter stacked on top of it on this housing that I got on this GoPro now. But uh, look how vivid that is. And then once I take it, so what I'm gonna do is I'm fixing to stop it from recording and get on the camera mode and take a snap a few pictures right here with it sitting like this. And then turn around, haul in and get the load at the shop and unload it. Okay, so he's gonna unload that load as it's chopped too. That's right. He, yeah, All right, so I don't need to worry about trying to get one of these trucks in to, to pick that load no, up then. No, Harold's hauling All that right. load he had loaded right now, and then Dad's going to load the other load. Dad's going to load the, you know, unload the, the other load he had loaded in, get one from up here too. So, uh, but yeah, that's what Need Philip here to dig him tracks out, man. What now? Need Philip here to dig him tracks out. Yeah. Yeah. What you breathing so hard for, man? Uh, a little sand in that clay mix. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of times this little sand stuff ain't too bad, but you mix some clay into it. I dug the other one out first because it was worse. This one here is a lot better. I got the worst one first. <laughs> yeah. So. Anyway, what was funny the other day, we were doing something on my loader. I forget what we were doing. Uh, oh, it was that day we were changing that bad hose on it dad come pulling over that hose and i saw him grab that spade and i thought yeah buddy get you some of that why don't you <laughs> i heard him he pecked on it about two or three minutes next thing i saw i saw a spade back up in the compartment up there he didn't have enough of that man that's just like concrete over there right there you gotta be careful i figured i knew it might be muddy next week in rain but i figured i better go ahead and dig this out yeah yeah, that's kind of necessary evil. One of them deals, you're on those, you're going to dig tracks out. Mm-hmm. Yep. I went to the river yesterday, man. I ended up catching a pretty good mess of crappie, man. Oh, yeah. I didn't put the, it, I didn't catch them till late. About 7 o'clock, I done put my cameras up and, and all. And I ended up uh, pulling up in a spot and fooling around. Finally found some. Huh. Caught caught several of them after I cleaned them last night. Bad thing about it, you know, it don't get dark to about eight o'clock, so time you come off the water and get back toward the house at nine o'clock and then you clean fish. Get a video ready. Yeah. It's late quick. So you cut the grass yesterday? Yeah, I cut it yesterday or whatever. Afternoon. Okay. Yeah, that's right. We knocked out. I didn't feel like I didn't do it this afternoon. I don't blame you. I knocked out yesterday. I don't blame you. My 
slick that road off for I left there yesterday and opened up all the drains and made sure everything. Yeah, did uh, Jeff clean off the deck up he there? Did. He I figured in. he did because he, he, he yeah, probably he, hopped back up there and cleaned that deck off. I saw it slick, so it's ready. Yeah. So Chad will be in for a culture shack when he rolls in here this morning. If he rolls in here. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not sure if this is going to be the ending or not, but I'm going to go ahead and do the ending of me and search some other clips in before this. I don't know, but I'm going to go ahead and do the ending now. Uh, hope y'all have a good weekend. Y'all be safe. Don't do anything stupid, man. The cops are out. Went, I went through a roadblock with some troopers last night. So don't get out drinking and driving and cause yourself. Self-inflicted stuff, man, sucks. And stuff that you can prevent because just think about it you know what that what you know if you get in trouble what that's going to cause you but y'all have a good weekend and uh not sure what the videos are going to be but we're going to roll on through the day here we should be done about lunch today if everything will work out right uh, be sure to subscribe to me if you like my stuff great great comments this week uh the you South deer video, deer farm video went very, very well. Had a lot of positive, very positive stuff on that. Only had a couple kind of tacky comments and only had one that I deleted uh, off of it. And the guy's just being a, doing a, being a jerk. He said all kind of uh, foul language, a uh, bunch of it in there. And when I responded to him, he he said, well, they use that kind of language in kids' cartoons right now. I don't know what cartoons that, that joker's been watching, but what, I, what I've what i seen with my kids, they don't use language like that in them. So I just, I was like, there's some people like that you can't argue with. Best thing to do is just delete it. So I just smoked his stuff on off of there and uh, got rid of it. But subscribe to me if you like my stuff on Snapchat and Instagram. You, a lot of times you'll see stuff on Snapchat before you ever see it on uh, YouTube. So just a little heads up on that. Awesome pictures on uh, Instagram that I put up there. So y'all be good. As I always say, later taters.